So, you have an idea for an app, but don't know what to do about it. Let's go through the process from idea to app store. Once you decide you wish to pursue your idea, there is one question you must ask yourself. Would I rather spend more time or more money on this project? This will determine if you should learn how to code the app yourself or if you should hire a freelancer like me to build the app for you. Most people have more time than money, so let's tackle that path first. Starting out, you must learn the basics of iOS development. I learned iOS development using a Udemy course that's actually linked in the description box below, and there are other courses and books on iOS development, but regardless of how you do it, be sure to build a strong foundation of iOS development first. Once you have that knowledge, write out all of the details and draw out the screens of your app. This will give you a better understanding of what exactly you want your app and what you want it to look like. Now you can begin to build your app. You start off in Xcode working on your user interface, add functionality to it, and build upon that as you need. This is a long, detailed, and difficult process to tackle, which is why if you have the money and no interest in learning programming, hire someone like me to build the app for you. You won't have to worry about all of the previous steps, as you won't need to learn iOS development or build anything since someone else will build the app for you. In order to hire someone, you can look on sites like Upwork or something similar, but be careful with paying low dollar on those sites, as I guarantee 99% of the time it will be an unpleasant experience and you won't get exactly what you want. Instead, find someone online via LinkedIn, GitHub, or something similar that you know will do a good job based on their portfolio, but don't expect things to be cheap. Apps that are worthwhile should cost no less than $5,000, as anything less than that will likely disappoint, but everything is variable, so use your own discretion. There's also an option of bringing on a programmer as a partner, but since they will be doing most of the work, expect them to want majority of the equity. As you or someone else is building your app, you must handle the business side of things in preparation for app launch. This mainly revolves around marketing and monetization. With marketing, some of the best methods are Facebook ads and YouTube ads, or my personal favorite, contacting YouTubers or Instagram celebrities in your specific genre and paying them to promote your app on their channel. Marketing techniques deserve their own video, which I've touched on in the past and will make another video in the near future. There are many ways to monetize or make money with your app, which include paid apps, where someone purchases your app once and has complete access to it, in-app purchases, where you sell additional features within the app, which works better with free apps, as most people expect to have full access to all features if they pay for the actual app and would be turned off if they think you're trying to scam money from them. Or with free apps, you can implement iAd, where you monetize your app through ads. And my personal favorite, aside from subscriptions, freemium and premium versions of your app, where your free versions include iAds or in-app purchases, and the paid app is ad-free and offers features the free app does not. So now, you have your app built and have your business plan in place. It is now time to launch your app in the App Store and get to marketing. Be sure to never neglect your app and always continue to grow and market your app in order to see the best results. And now, you have successfully gone from app idea to building an app that is now on the App Store. I hope this helps you. Thumbs up if it did. Subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, have a good one.